Hello guys, welcome back to Car Shenanigans. If you guys didn't see my Spirit Halloween tour, go watch that. I also said I bought Grave Watcher while I was there. So, today we're going to be unboxing. Alrighty. Start. So, just admire her beautiful box. She looks great. Sorry. Champagne candles and oak. That's all our movements and stuff. Then we got our story on the back. Which I'm not gonna read, but if you wanna read it, you can watch the website. Maybe I will read it in a different video though, if not today. Okay, so let's start. Right off the bat, I see instructions. Which I know how to set her up. I know how to do a simple setup. Well, she seems like a pretty simple setup. So we have the A, Grave Watcher herself. B, the base thing with the only the like T, and then C, the small bullets only so they can fit in the box. D, we have an E, are both well, two snap locks to make her taller. F is the adapter. G, H, and I are creepy cloth. And hardware is J and K, which are the nut and the bolt. The screw and the nut, or something like that. So, I did take out her adapter because I needed it for separate animatronics. So, here's her, her adapter. It's pretty nice. It's actually 10 feet long. For this small thing, it's kind of amazing for 10 feet long. Okay, so all the pulls come in bubble wrap. Then we have this base piece. This is the base piece. This is what it looks like. It's only so they can fit it in a super small box. Okay, I'm going to take off all the pulls off. So we got one pull. We got the two snap lock pulls, D and E. They're not the biggest, but they're kind of... I'm just gonna get that bubble wrap out. That was... Let's hold it like this. Oh, no, dang it, the other one fell. Okay, now it's time to get Grave Watcher herself out. Oh, her creepy cloth must be on the bottom. Okay. How do I get her out? Oh, right there. Here she is. She is amazing. I love her so much. She looks awesome. Oh, there's the other pole. This one's a small one. Just because I'm not gonna... But yeah, these two go together. You can't, it doesn't have the hole on the side, so you can't make her a bit bigger. Uh, okay, I got all the creepy claws out. Now, Time to go to the other side. Oh, wait. There's one thing. Oh, my God. My other one. The other two. There's still one more thing in here. I believe they're not in there. There it is. Okay, so a nut and bolt. Right here. I have taken out some of her pieces before, so. Alright, let's start her setup. So, here we go. Here is an overview of all her parts. You have Grave Watcher herself, the nut and bolt, or something like that, the DNA snap locks, creepy cloth, base connector, base, 6 volt 2 amp DC adapter, and the instructions. Okay. So first you're gonna want to grab your base like this. I don't know why they had to do this well I have to fit it in a small box so as small as possible. So you have this smaller pole and this base. It should be a hole and you're gonna snap that into place so it looks like this. 
Next you're going to want to grab one with the big hole that's able to be snap locked. Because there really is only one way for the bolt on the other one that's smaller. So let's snap these in place. Okay, snap these are some height. Then you need a gray watcher herself. I would honestly say this is one of my, one of my favorites I own. 100% don't hesitate, buy it now. She is amazing. So glad I so glad I got her. Okay. Next up is a challenge though. I'm not I do an OG Boogie unboxing, but the phone broke, so I can't post that. And I don't really want to take him apart because he's a pain in the butt to set up. Cause he So yeah, because of a few steps. And if you are Mardi Gras beads... Okay, hey, sorry about that guys. So right after that, it should go in, you want it to go in. Then you're going to want to get your nut and bolt. I put her on the floor to do it. Then... Hey, uh, does she, she doesn't need the nut and bolt, it's just so she won't turn. She's perfectly stable. It doesn't have anything to do with stability. So I'm not going to put this in. Because I'll most likely be taking her apart a lot. So I'm not going to put the nut and bolt in. It'll just make everything hard. We're just going to set that aside. Well, you don't have to do that. If you really want to, you, I will have it in on Halloween. But I don't really think I need to. So I'm not going to do it. Now. You don't want your Mardi Gras beads that it comes with to be in the mechanism of the head because the head moves unlike the original Green Watcher. And the candles also move, which is nice. So, yeah, you want to make sure those beads are out of the mechanism. Next, you're going to want to grab your red creepy, red creepy claw <laughs> and string it around her shoulders like that. So it looks straight. I'm going to use this. Okay. Okay, so like that. Then you got this black creepy cord. Now I realized when I was first setting her up, there is a velcro piece on her head, and I was like, does that just attach it? But no, nah, there's actually a velcro piece on the black creepy claw to keep it stable and secure onto the head. That was not enough. Adjust it to your liking. That's what she looks like currently. Also, I need to scratch her back. So our instructions on oh, boy. She has pretty good instructions to be honest. Then you are just going to grab this creepy claw and adjust it to your liking on her head. In my opinion, I like it about like weak. I don't like the black very much, but it also makes it look better. I'm gonna put mine like this. That's what I'm doing. Pose her arms. She does have possible arms, so if you want. Now mine came with one candle dislocated like this, so I'm just gonna put that back in. Well, it wasn't, but oh my gosh, what is wrong with my back? It wasn't I put it in before anything just to be safe. Also, I don't know if the original has it, but she has lights on her candles that flash her and it makes it look so much more realistic. So next, make sure she's on level ground. Then you're going to put the flipper so that you guys can see. I don't, I don't want to mess with my camera angle. So you're going to put her cloth over her head like that. Undo the Velcro. And then grab your 6 volt 2 amp DC adapter. Which it should be included and plug it right into the adapter jack. It's going to be hard to do it to her, but... One sec. Yeah. Six volt, yep, this is six volt jack, okay. Because she is a bit smaller, so it makes sense. Now I'm going to go her back up to the point where you can't really see the adapter. 
You should, you should, I don't know, I don't think I'm, I will probably in Halloween, but no, I know. So yeah, I told you guys in the spirit of Halloween tour yesterday that I would own her. And yeah, so I did. Okay. Beware, I love her so much. Now she has amazing eyes. I am gonna do like a short of her in the dark for you guys, but not completely. Okay, she is so loud. Is the 2023 Grave Watcher and the Tronic from Spirit Halloween. Now, I would say 10 out of 10. She's amazing. The one thing YJ could have improved on her, she's super loud too, which I love. And she's super, her like areas over here, the shores, those are super, super cheap plastic and thin. So you're gonna want to take really good care of that. I would say she is 100% worth $80. She is awesome. She's super scary. I love her so much. Um, and I do not like how you have to get the nut and bolt in there because that step I feel like is impossible. <laughs> it's going to be a really big challenge. So I might just use this on a separate animatronic or something. I think one of my props is missing a bolt and nut. I think it's hazmat. So I'm sure we'll probably use that on him. So yeah, there she is. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.